Hey, what's up, guys? You're here with Kirk and Gordon once again. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, we have a few free picks for you for Thursday, May 16th. Uh, not a lot going on, Kirk. We have a few games in La Liga. Uh, not a lot going on on Friday either, but uh, Saturday and Sunday will be massive for us. Yeah, I mean, every team imaginable in Europe is playing, and they a lot of them have a lot of stuff to play for. Whether it be relegation, uh, league title, Champions League, Europa League, Conference League. So a ton to play for in this last week. I know there's so many games. So, yeah, as you said, it a lot going on for us this weekend. Yeah, I was really having a hard time selecting the games we are going to be talking about. And uh, I somehow got to like 25 games on Sunday, which <laughs> which would be way too much because the video would, would last for all like 45 minutes or so. So we'll have to shrink that down a bit. But uh, yeah, Bundesliga last day on Saturday, nine games of the schedule. EPL last day on Sunday, 10 games of the schedule. Uh, League One and Serie A and La Liga are still going on, I think, next weekend. But uh, yeah, we are finishing the season. We are getting closer and closer to the Euro Cup and Copa America with every day. We still have the DFB Pokal finale in, uh, in, in Germany. We have... Uh, uh, is it the FA Cup still finale still had to happen in uh, in in England if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, uh, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, for Wednesday still we have a bunch of MLS games, guys. Uh, I believe there's like 13 games on the schedule. You can get a free pick for every single one of those games up on the Pink Dogs YouTube channel. Uh, so go up there and check it out. And. Uh, that's all we have to say before we move on to these three games, Kirk. Uh, the three games in La Liga that we have going on. So let's get to show the road with Las Palmas and Betis being the first one. Uh, what are your thoughts about this one? We know that Las Palmas is on a huge losing streak right now. Uh, they are above their relegation zone by five points. And they could definitely use another point or two uh, in the last few games. But uh, this is going to be tough for them. Yeah, I mean, Las Palmas has lost their last five games, and I don't see them improving here against the Batiste side that's won four of their last five games. And with the money line, just I'm just going to heed this very simple. The money line for Batiste is minus 110. They've won four of their last five games. Las Palmas has lost all of their five last games. So unless this is some sort of crazy trap line, I'd be stupid not to go with Batiste money line at minus 110. Yeah, I agree with everything you said, Kirk. Uh, and on top of that, on top of Betis being in such a great form and Las Palmas being on a losing streak, Betis definitely needs a win here to keep the pressure off uh, from Real Sociedad and to keep that Europa League spot for next season. They are in great form right now. They are scoring a lot of goals. They're playing well overall. And uh, at minus 110, we simply have to take Betis on the money line in this game. So uh, that's what both of us have. Now, in the second game, we have Almeria hosting Barcelona. Uh, Almeria, the team that uh, will be getting relegated. They are at the bottom of the table, uh, far from safe zone. There's no hope for them. There hasn't been any hope for them in a long time. While Barcelona, uh, they will either end the season on uh, second, third, or fourth place, depending on how they... Uh, end up uh, playing the last few games of the season. Yeah, Barcelona just came off a big win against Sociedad, which I think it was a tough game. Sociedad is not a team that you can take easily or lightly. And Barcelona is like minus 300 favorites here. And there's just no value in that. But I do like Barcelona here in the first half as Almeria, as you said, is last in the league and have conceded about 70 goals, I think, this year so. I'm expecting Barca to be ahead here at half one, maybe even two zero, but I'm taking Barca first half money line at minus one thirty. Yeah, Almeria did concede seventy goals this season. Uh, they are at the bottom of the table. They haven't scored a lot. They are averaging one goal per game, uh, only two wins, and uh, I don't think that they can get a third one here. There's no way. Barcelona right now is playing pretty well. Uh, somehow they kept a clean sheet against uh, against Real Sociedad, which I was actually quite surprised about. 
but uh, even though they're playing on their own in this game and they have nothing left to play for, they will be going to the Champions League. I'm pretty sure that they would like to finish the season as higher in the standings as possible. So uh, I think Barcelona is the way to go. You have them in the first half on the money line. I will take Barcelona minus one and a half uh, at plus 102. I think that they should score two goals here easily and keep a clean sheet while doing it. So uh, Barcelona minus one and a half at plus 102. Uh, the last pick of this video, Kirk, is between Real Sociedad and Valencia. I think this is going to be an interesting matchup. I think it's going to be a tough one. Uh, like we said, uh, Real Sociedad is a tough team to beat. They definitely uh, are capable of playing an outstanding football, especially when they have possession, when they dominate the games. But Valencia is trying to get uh, to that conference league spot, and uh, Real Sociedad is actually their main competitor to do that. Yeah, I think this will be a tough game, as you said. Um, I honestly like your pick more than mine now that I'm rethinking about this game. So I'm actually going to let you talk about the pick first, and I'm actually going to side with your pick because I probably will agree with everything you say. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, Valencia hasn't won any of their last four games. They're definitely due for a nice performance, but like we said, uh, Real Sociedad is a tough, tough team to beat, especially when playing at home. Uh, where they've conceded only 18 goals in 17 games. And I know that seems like a lot, but uh, that's an average of just over one conceded goal per game. And, and when you're playing against teams like uh, Barcelona, Bilbao, Girona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, that's actually quite impressive. And on top of that, they're averaging about a goal and a half scored when playing at home, uh, while Valencia on the road, I think they simply have to focus on defense here. That's the only thing that's going to keep them in the game. And uh, because of that, I'm taking the draw in this one. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I think this is draw written all over it. I did have both teams to score at plus 124, but I honestly could see more of a 0-0 draw than a 1-1. As you said, Valencia will play more defensively. But I have both teams to score at plus 124, but I do think it'll be like a 1-1 draw. So let's let's lock in those picks, and then we have a huge weekend ahead, as we said. There you have it, guys. Uh, that's all from Kirk and I for, for, uh, for Thursday. Like I said, there is a bunch of MLS games. You can get free picks for that. I do have a premium pack up for the MLS as well. It's a five-pack, so jump on it, guys. I'm pretty sure that Kirk has uh, some player props or whatever, a NBA props for tonight as well. Yeah, today I have a really massive uh, slate for NBA. So I usually have three picks. Tonight I have five. I just love the slate tonight. So make sure to check that out. It has the credit guarantee. I think, as I said, I think it's a great slate tonight. But in case it's not, you always have that credit guarantee to, to fall back on. So, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for joining us here once again, guys. For Friday, I believe we have only one game to talk about. There will be a video about that. It's going to be a short one. But like we said, Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be quite an exciting two days. It's going to be fun. We have a lot of great games to talk about. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. As usual, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, we'll see you soon with more free picks.